It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it comes your way next. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Well, straight ahead, we've got a rematch from last year's NFC Divisional Round 2 as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the defending NFC champs, the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, what a season it was for these Eagles and these Philly fans last year. An 8-0 no start. 14-3 final record, two blowout wins in the NFC playoffs before coming up a bit short in Super Bowl 57. And the good thing for Philadelphia is they try and get back to the Super Bowl. Many of the key pieces they had last year are back. Remember, this is the number three offense in the league, number two defense, and they threw in a heck of an NFL draft. They expect to contend one more time. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. Ready to get us started, it's Cade York, and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts throwing right away. This short throw caught by Goddard. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. From the gun, it's Hurts. His throw incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around, locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive, and this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, OK, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here that if you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he is advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Now a two-time pro bowler coming off a big year, Saquon Barkley. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll go to Barkley again. 
And it's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Out of the gun now on third down. something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. They go play action with Hurts. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. They brought him in off the corner, and he gets in to drop him for a loss of four. Well, their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. Is it normal to call his number to run at the quarterback like that? Usually you're defending the pass. But he takes full advantage and dumps him to the turf. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Hurt's going to keep it running left. Fights him off. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. On second down, Swift. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Bad news, they didn't get it on second down. The good news is they still only need about three or four inches here on third. And the good play callers have looked at both situations. They thought to themselves, okay, this call, I pick up the first down, already ready with that call. If I don't, this is what I'm going to come back with in order to pick it up. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive, much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive is a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. But he's got Smith here. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. And he is in to the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. and Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Now, 
after the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. Nifty move. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter. And now, if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Second down and inches. That's complete to Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Back to throw here. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the field. The screen does get a nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. This is taken at about the 14. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have run or pass is working pretty well for you makes you look like a genius it really does it also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good and now the defense has to do all the adjusting this short throw caught by goddard stopped at the 24 yard line after a gain of five nice rhythm throw there on first down he located his tight end made a nice easy pitch and catch hoping he could break a tackle or two wasn't able to do that there but still good yardage second and five From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They got five through the air last play, now five on the ground, first and 10. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. On first down, Hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Okay. 
Oh, the option to give to Swift here. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Hurts, though, here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Now Hurts going to get this to his running back, Swift. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. This short throw caught by Goddard. There's a good push to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Hurts. Look in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. Down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 12-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Here's Hurts to throw. And Goddard's got it. touchdown grab and the Eagles are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead you got it figured out by the goal line this is where tight end earns his money in the high traffic area and he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown Elliott now to add the extra point And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And New York set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They begin with a run by Barkley, and he'll 
take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. From the 31, here's the second down at six. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 13 yards on his first catch, it's a first down as well. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. A first down carry for Barkley. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. In motion, Slayton. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. He'll drop to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Barkley, inside handoff. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll look to throw. He'll look downfield for Waller. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. The Giants on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. They're going to look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. Already up two touchdowns. How about that drive killer of a sack there to add to their good play? This offense coming away with no points now when some kind of score was desperately needed. Jamie Gillen. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken around the 12. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Give him a good 10 yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. On first and 10, it's Hurts. This one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, 
He can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. They run out of the gun with Swift. Wiggles free. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 46. There's the stiff arm. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 76 yards on the ground here for Swift. He's got a first down as well. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. Dexter Lawrence that time in on the stop. Now they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Hurt sets up to throw it. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Throwing is Hurts. Being chased out left. Hurts fumbles it. They'll call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Deontay Banks there on the stop. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. <laughs> Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And they find the open man. That's complete. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Swift. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Play action. Here's Hurts. Touchdown lead. Jalen Hurts with another touchdown rushing. 13 
touchdowns led all quarterbacks last year on the ground. No one else had more than eight. And of course, we all remember the three touchdown game in the Super Bowl. So call running plays or scrambles, Jalen Hurts is dangerous. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And now out come the Giants. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Down the right sideline, and he's going to get this down inside the 40 before he's finally ridden out of bounds. 70 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, every quarterback, especially a rookie quarterback, loves to have plays like that from a guy running the ball. Takes a lot of pressure off the youngster, doesn't it? He doesn't have to throw the ball in bad situations. Just turns around, hands it to his big horse, and we've seen rookie quarterbacks ride great runners right into the playoffs. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run it again with Barkley. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. Up the middle with Barkley. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Holding offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement, and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? A crucial penalty there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. Back to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. 
Saquon Barkley, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants get a bit closer. Down three scores already. This game was really in danger of getting away from them. They needed a drive like that, especially on the road. Not only to calm themselves, but maybe tamp down the crowd a little bit because everything was against them. As you noted, this game could have gotten away from them very easily, but instead, the calming drive, now they have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're back in it. All right, we're ready to go. That was impressive. And the defense now needs to reciprocate. Extra point by York is up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21 7. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've had a very solid first half, and as we near the end of that first half, they're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan on offense, you put together what you think is going to be the best possible scenario, right? Hey, we're going to score. These are the plays that are going to do it. But you also put together your counters, meaning after they make adjustments to what you're doing, what do we have to go to next? The adjustment to the adjustment. Exactly. So I can't wait to see if we come out of the half how they're going to go about doing things. Do you just keep running what you ran before, or do you go to your counters expecting those adjustments to happen? Before that, we'll see the end here this first half. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. That one goes for 30 yards. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. From the gun, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football, and that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Second and a couple. Back to throw again. A quick throw there is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he'll be out of bounds about a half 
to a full yard shy of the five. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Second and goal from the one. They'll look to throw again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles would extend their lead here just before halftime. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Willed it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Elliott on for the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. remains is to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play so we are at halftime here on Christmas Eve as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report Coach all right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Eagles got a solid first half from last year's MVP runner-up Jalen Hurts. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line, powering his way forward, and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Giants' offense set to begin this third quarter, and you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Left side, he's got Robinson. 
And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. They're going to try the jet sweep. Robinson with it. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Josh Sweat coming in strong and dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. On second down, here's Barkley. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is finally taken down, but not before he gets it to the Eagles' 25-yard line. A tremendous play there from Saquon Barkley. 44 yards. Terrific run from one of the fastest backs in the game today. A guy who keeps defensive coordinators up at night, no doubt. Remember when we were meeting with the D coordinator before the game and all he talked about was run fits, making sure our guys were in the right place so there were no creases? They missed their fits, didn't they? Yeah, there was no fit there. The only fit was at the end when he threw his headset down after that big run. A throw over the middle, taken in. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. They'll look to throw here. A quick pass here. He's got Shepard. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And they'll try the option on first and goal. Take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great effort there. Doing it himself from nine yards out. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. York now for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. That time, a six-play drive and a nine-yard run on the end of it. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. So quickly, all the way up at the 40 yard line. Now Hurts on the option right. 
Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Second down and six now. Swift going to try up the middle. 117 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Hurts. Going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On oh, the option to give to Swift here. Oh, what a move. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They go play action with Hertz. And Jones has it over the middle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 13-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. And I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times, the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball, and they're the ones dictating to the defense. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing. And as a player, that means an awful lot. They'll run with Swift. And he's in for the Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead. And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, 
This is going to be the result. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete to Robinson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll set up to throw. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. He'll go down as a gain of six. And that'll bring up fourth down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on him man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. DeAndre Swift and the Eagles back out there. The Omen's effort on that last drive. Seven carries, got the touchdown as well. And the O-line probably got a little extra oxygen on the sideline in between. And deservedly so, because they were also calling for him to continue to get the ball because there's a rhythm that gets established, right? When you're running it well and the, the back's getting the ball and he's in sync and reading blocks and the offensive line wants to continue to pound away. Haven't made an offensive lineman yet that likes to pass block more than he likes to run block. And that last drive, we saw the, the end result, didn't we? Yep, and all were rewarded with a trip to pay dirt. Here now, second and four. Here's Hurts to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll get this to the 26-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route? Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break.
So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Hertz sets up to throw it. Completes to Zacchaeus. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Throwing his hurts. And that's off the mark, incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They're going to look to throw. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now Jake Elliott, earlier in his career, he beat these Giants with a 61-yarder. From the left hash, this from 46. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, in the fourth quarter here, you've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as well. well he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs you know i've seen I've, you know you and i've both been to practices where we've seen hey third down situation big third down alert lock in here fourth down play make sure you focus just a little bit extra it didn't pay off in that situation they'll throw on first down with hertz and he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard 
can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left. And their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him. But how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good? They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Looking to throw. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And that will force a turnover on downs. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> They'll start with the option. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Two 
The Eagles on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. On oh, the option to give to Swift here. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Now they'll throw here. Out of the gun. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Eagles continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Well, they just continue to roll. And Charles, for you and I, we want the close games. But for them, it has to be so nice to enjoy this big cushion. I can't remember the last time we saw them play this loose and have this much fun. I think they'd love to be able to capture this game, carry it with them from week to week, and be able to execute like this in all the rest of their games. Elliott good on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. On first down, he'll drop to throw. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and three. Now back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll drop to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Jalen Carter picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, have a game, sir, why don't you? A sack earlier and an exclamation point here late in the game. And this one won by his side of the ball. They played so well, surprised he didn't get a second sack earlier. 
Second and 13. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 26. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 161 yards rushing now for the ball game on 24 carries. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had his problems trying to keep him contained. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. This is Swift on the counter. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Here's second and seven. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I'd sure love to offer some advice to the defensive coordinator, but his guys are just getting run over by an offense that's executing like a well-oiled machine. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 46. From the gun, here's Swift. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. Well, this O-line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because if we were grading them on their performance in this game, a lot of pluses in their boxes so far. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to get that to Swift underneath, and he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And New York set to take the field. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest.
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Short throw, going to be caught by Waller. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Second and four. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll look to throw now on first down. This one is Slayton over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Back to throw again. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Second and 10. They'll look to throw again. That ball caught by Slayton. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 28. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw here. And all oh, it will be intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. CD, this defense, man, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Well, they came into this one with a vision, Charles, and it has played out exactly as they had hoped, if not even better. They've got the huge lead here and now the football for the final moments of the fourth. Yeah, and it was apparent that they were the better team, right? We figured that out pretty early. But give them a lot of credit for staying with it. They didn't stumble around out there. They didn't create a lot of errors for themselves because they were the superior team. They took care of business and closed them out pretty quickly. A nice burst there as he'll get about seven that time on the first down run. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.